welcome dear student i am abhijit here from department of english uh, today we are going to discuss public relations it is in the uh, aec ability enhancement course communication skills in english semester 2 and unit number 1 third point in unit number 1 today we are going to discuss uh, public relation uh, the con- these are the contents that we are going to deal today that is public relation and related to the uh, it is basic functions of public relation classification of public relation and some measures to promote internal uh, pr which means internal public relation and pu- measures to promote external public relation uh, first of all let's deal with the basics what is the meaning of uh, public relation public relation is an ongoing and inclusive activity that requires hard work and planning um ongoing what i mean it continuously an organization has to uh, carry forward plan to achieve the desired uh, result to to achieve the desired result and inclusive what i mean there are n numberable of stakeholders who uh, directly or indirectly involved in the process of public relation and that will affect the uh, the, the organization or institution so <coughs> public relation uh, the relations with public public relation which means the relations with public wherein the public refers to the section of community that has an interest or an impact on an organization what i mean is uh, it's simply the relationship with the people whoever is going to use the product or service of any company and and the people those who are involved in the in the process of manufacturing in in, in or in the service are related to uh, simply it's about the relation between these two stakeholders and now the <coughs> what exactly includes in the public relation so the public refers here is as an employee investors consumers media banks insurance companies and government agencies what i mean uh, employees those who are working in the company uh, as well as those who are working for the company on, on a temporary basis what what we say the in the chain of uh, manufacturing or in the chain of distribution in the chain of uh, the <coughs> service then investors those who are going to invest in your uh, company for example we could call it the share shareholders is a small part one of them is a shareholders and the people those who are going to invest their money and time in your company for the sake that they will get some return so the, these are the public relation is also related to the investors consumers those who are going to buy the product or service so the consumer specifically deals with these two strata of the community where invest uh, what do we say the uh, directly or indirectly potential consumers we could also say they are also the part of public relation because consistently organizations try to bring the pot, uh, potential customers in the what do you say the in in the in the time slot or uh, in in this slab of cus, uh, customers rather than the potential one by giving them some lucrative uh, some lucrative uh, discounts and and all the things and the media which is the which is the most important pillar in the public relation where we could say media plays a very vital role it is the nerves through which the company any company is directly or indirectly related with the people so those who are uh, we are we are talking about the consumers they are related with the company through media because we will produce uh, a product we will give service but ultimately it is media through which we will promote it it is media through which we will uh, reach out to the last customer last person who who we wish to uh bring them in the our our uh, our customer then banks whoever going to give you the loans for your company right so banks and insurance companies as well those who are going to uh, give you some backup security backup we could say then com- uh, government agencies there are so many uh, there are many uh, what do you say the government office offices are uh, deal directly or indirectly dealing with the Uh, companies by for example the uh, environmental clearances or revenue many other things laws whether the company is following the law or not so just try to understand these are the people and many more 
as i said there are many others as well these are just introductory uh, elements that i am putting here so employees investor consumers media banks insurance companies and government agencies these are the people or we could say the public in public relation it's about maintaining healthy relations with the people on which as i said let me go back to the previous side interest and impact on an organization so whoever is going to use your product whoever is going to use your service will have an impact or at least an interest financial or in in other uh, terms but an interest which will bring them the desired interest which will uh, which your service or product will give them right so these are the two key words interest and impact on an organization section of community which has an interest and impact on an organization let's move forward so what are the what are the various elements that uh, we can call it as a which will work as a uh, which will promote the healthy relations right so the first one these are the examples a cheerful greetings by a receptionist an efficient clerk a polite pun a well drafted letter a progressive policy and social service undertaking so these are the uh, these are the elements that uh, usually deals with public relation or that brings uh, what we say that uh, creates some healthy relation with the public because uh, suppose if you go for the uh, if you go to any restaurant and if you ask for them you want to have some uh, food you want to join them for, for so some food what will uh, suppose if you get a very harsh reply by the receptionist would it would you definitely go back again to the to for that in that hotel or would you recommend this hotel to any other person certainly not similarly an efficient clerk if you are waiting in the queue for 2 hours just for the sake of a simple information in an or in an office so you will definitely uh through the grip point communication i must say you will definitely spread information uh about this office whichever you have encountered the the about the office that this cl the clerks are not efficient the clerks are not prompt so certainly an efficient clerk but if the clerk is working efficiently or uh, immediately you have received the information from the clerk you will definitely say very good thing about the institution it's an image building so public relation actually takes care of the image building of an institution whether whether people uh, the the function the machinery the employees and other people are taking care of the the customers the consumers while providing the service or uh, product so an efficient clerk is an example who will definitely promote public relation uh, a polite pun Uh, is also an example who will uh, example of a person who will uh, maintain healthy relation public relation i could say uh, i have deliberately given the color to these adjectives so that that will create an impact so you will come to know more about the importance of this if you remove this instead of cheerful you can use any other adjective which shows some uh, pale mundane greetings by a receptionist so you will come to know the consequences as well similarly a well drafted letter uh, this is one of the most important thing in 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 terms of business letter because suppose if i want to give an information about my products and services in the of my company so i will draft a letter very well uh, it's sales letter and i will give it to the other corporate companies so that they will understand what kind of services i am providing what kind of products i am selling so well drafted letter will convince them induce them to give me some uh, what do we say the to do business with me right so a well drafted letter will uh, act as a silent salesman in terms of public relation silently it will work it will convince the person whoever is reading whoever is the addressee right and the third uh, the next one that is a progressive policy so any governmental or any organization which is following the progressive policy progressive in terms of completely what i am saying the uh, healthy atmosphere healthy what work atmosphere healthy rules and regulations which will not uh, what do we say the downgrade the 
people those who are working uh, which will follow the upward and downward communication as well not only following the downward communication which is slightly monotonous and harmful for the uh, proper functioning of the institution and the last one that is a social service undertakings where the company usually spend its time and money for the good causes in the society through a, a, a third party through a, a, a proper mechanism which uh, we could say for the social good cause so it it everything as i said public relation it it's about the image building the more people will have faith in you the more people have good will about you they will invest their time their money and their emotions in your company so these are the examples of uh, elements these are the ex examples where people actually promote the public relations right next that is the uh, let's see most large organizations have a dedicated pr department or pr officer public relation officer or i must say they simply outsource their public relation needs to a public relation agency or company so either they do have the specific department who will take care of entire public relation uh, what do you say the uh, of a company uh, internal or external that we, that we will see in the next one but uh, or maybe they have a one single person if the company is not bigger so uh, they will simply dedicate a person who will take care of the public who will act as a public relation officer and he will have to provide the information it's simply just like uh getting information or at, at least getting clarifications about their complaints queries that's much simple and outsourcing of work it's simply the way us usually outsource their it needs through india right similarly a public relation if a company does not if a company does not uh, have enough funding enough enough time or people or machinery they will simply give the uh, responsibility to any agency who is working in this field uh, so it's called the outsourcing the needs of a public relation to another third first, uh, party now let's move towards the functions of public relations this this is very uh, important functions what i mean is the role is is the <coughs> role or duties of public relation department each and every organization has this particular department usually have as we have discussed either they have the department or the officer or outsourcing but the particular department will have to do these kind of functions so look at the functions this is the press relation product publicity corporate communication lobbying counseling in-house journals newsletters brochures and annual reports staff welfare special events and public service activities so these are the nine uh, specific uh, I, I, I have selected these nine activities only nine elements there are so many other functions as well but i'm focusing on the pr very uh, <coughs> primary data sorry so let's explain one by one just deal with it so that at least you will come to know more about what is what does what does that mean what does the press relation exactly do so the functions of public relations whereas the first one is the press relation uh, any so any organization or institution usually have to connect with uh, have, have to maintain the public relations or uh, press relation why because it is the media as a, as we have discussed it is the media print media or electronic media through which uh, the required information uh, will be given uh, or disseminated to the public right so it is the press who usually uh, spread and disseminate the information of an organization such as the events activities social service undertakings etc so it is the duty of an organization of, of the public relation department or officer to create the information about the institution and disseminate what i mean disseminate is the spreading of information in the public through the press uh, what do you say so every institution usually tries to keep healthy relation with press right next that is product policy uh, product publicity information about products and services are presented to the media by public relation department or officer so whatever products i do have or services i have uh, it is one of the wing it is one of the way to reach out maximum people through uh, product publicity again 
uh, the public relation officer or department will take the help of the <coughs> public relation officer will take the help of the press or electronic or print media I, I must say they will take the help of them so that they could uh, reach out to the maximum people so social media is one of them so uh, newspapers uh, leaflet pamphlets all of them are the uh, all of them are used just to promote the product or service so product publicity is a second uh, product or service publicity is a second function of a public relation department the third one is the corporate communication as i said a well drafted letter so what i mean com corporate communication a well drafted letter if if an organization is sending well drafted letter to another one so it is actually maintaining healthy relation it is actually doing a, a corporate communication because you are actually promoting better it, it will promote better understanding between uh, the between the companies right and its products and services uh, then the next is lobbying which is slightly curious which is slightly uh, the what do we say strange because it, it it has a very significant impact dealing with legislators and government officials to promote or defeat legislation to the advantage of organization so if i have an organization and uh, if the government or any other government official is bringing any law or enforcing any law uh, which is very harmful for my organization so i will try to bring i will try to force i will try to use various means to uh, defeat such legislation or at least try to convince try to change this particular legislation uh, which has to be uh, ruled so lobbying is simply dealing with legislator those who are going to uh, pre uh, prepare or create a law legislators those who are sitting in uh, vidhan sabha vidhan parishad or we could say the rajya sabha lok sabha these are the mps and mlas those who, to whom we call legislators they used to pass the law so and government officials such as the revenue officials or police department those who are enforcing agencies we could say so it is uh, the duty of the public relation officer to take care of all these things if the law is harming to the company they can simply defeat it they can simply try to force them to reject the law or leave it uh, the next is counseling which is one of the biggest challenge uh, in front of public relation officer or department because it's counseling uh, it's it's about the giving information uh, about products and services are presented uh, counseling simply here with what i mean uh, giving help to the employees in case of they are suffering from the any stress uh, of burnout of uh, out of the heavy workload and something so just counseling them so that they will work motivating uh, they, they will be, it will motivate them and they will work efficiently so that is a part of public relation uh, department to counsel them to guide them to help them and and in terms of public so giving clear cut instruction giving clear cut information about the product and services through the media through the press uh, that will help to the common people as well to understand more about your services so counseling is a part of public relation the next is in house journals newsletters brochures annual reports <coughs> where usually the public relation department prepares and circulate the uh, information uh, through this these uh, various means uh, among the stakeholders whoever is related whoever is in the uh, uh, what do you say a small uh, part in the in the production or service uh, services of an organization so <coughs> the next is staff welfare uh, it's simply dealing with oh, one second uh, so what i mean staff welfare uh, organizing social get togethers uh, to for the benefit of uh, the staff whoever is working in this company or the, of the employees the, there is a little uh, change in the ppt okay so but that the 
the point the meaning of the point is staff welfare where we could uh, the company could organize various events and social get togethers and they will appreciate they will uh, reward their working they, they will appreciate their work uh, so that the people who is working in the company will get motivated and work efficiently ultimately it will res uh, result uh, in the growth uh, of the company revenue or in terms of capital so the next is that is the special events a public relation department will take care of uh, various special organize and sponsor various special events for the social causes where uh, either they will fund some uh, amount for the betterment upliftment of the downtrodden people underprivileged people such as in terms of education such as uh, such as in terms of we could say the health sector such as in terms of uh, traveling uh, transportation sector in, in any event or in can in case we could say the uh, we could also say about the cancer awareness campaigns these are the special events where the uh, image of a company image of an organization will be uh, we can say uh, made in, in in the minds of people uh, healthy image of the company we could say then public service activities this is the next function of public relation uh, public service activities contributes money and time for good causes or for the underprivileged people i have given two examples but there are many uh, i have selected two very prestigious or well known companies uh, mahindra company and uh, vipro company right but uh, so take mahindra foundation run by mahindra company and azim premji foundation run by vipro company usually is working in the empowerment through education so they have been significantly spending their money uh, on uh, the empowerment of child children or people through education uh, similarly tata uh, is t tata is working in terms of healthcare so these are the giants we could say they have been taking care of people uh, through their money through their machineries ngos lot of ngos are there so public relation department or public relation officer usually uh, is connected with such kind of uh, institutions then we will move towards the next topic that is the classification of public relations there are uh, two uh, internal public relation and external public relation whereas internal public relation is among and between the staff members and management and managements uh, and in external public relation what i mean the relation of the organization with the stakeholders as i already have clarified the stakeholders which me what it mean uh, all the people those who are directly and indirectly related those who have an impact and interest uh, with the company or in the company uh, it's called the stakeholders so relation of the organization with the stakeholders outside the organization right outside the organization that's why it's an external so let's see we will the various uh, uh, measures to promote internal public relations suppose if any institution wants to uh, promote internal public relations just to maintain healthy atmosphere sporting atmosphere so that the employees will be very motivated and they will uh, work efficiently so these are the certain measures certain ways to promote internal public relation so employee motivation is the first one whereas the internal and external motivation has been given to the employee what i mean external is the salaries bonus and any other fringe benefits which has been given insurance and something and what i mean internal motivation so whatever work he is involved in and whichever competition he is participating in so simply giving him recognition giving him award giving him the uh, what do you say the uh, reward uh, and honor these are the two various uh, th these are the two uh, types of motivation an employee should be given and the next one is the films in house journals newsletter brochures these are the specific uh, ways to promote internal public relation right so whatever work they are doing whatever work they are doing in the uh, company it has to be uh, recognized it has to be appreciated to the films in our journals films what i mean the films which is based on a short film which is based on the company which is based on about which will give information more about the company about the uh, specific department right and people will appreciate it so it's after all it's appreciation 
uh, then journals brochures newsletter uh, annual reports these are the things through which they will appreciate then radio and television Th this is one of uh, one of the measures which can be very systematically handle what i mean radio and television in the cafeteria during the uh, off hours during the breaks where people where the employees gets uh, usually gets to uh, what do you say have their uh, food and breakfast at that time they should be given the they should be made available the facility of tvs and uh, tv and uh, radio so that they they could slightly get relaxed and one uh, again come back with a very uh, without stress without uh, any uh, what do you say burden so they will feel relaxed the way they have the uh, since they have the televisions and uh, some entertainment uh, in the cafeteria Where exhibitions that is product and photographic exhibitions has to be uh, prepared because that will again boost to the uh, the motivation of the employees because their work will be exhibited right the way we have the book exhibition the author will definitely get very uh, excitement people are uh, coming to the exhibitions and at least trying to uh, check what kind of bo books are there who has written it they are appreciating them by sending messages and emails so that's why these exhibitions product and uh, photographic exhibitions will uh, promote internal public relation healthy uh, public relation then a visit to sister institution uh, sister institution what i mean uh, a parent organization which will consist many other small uh, institution for example jbsp sansta is a parent organization which has a ckt college uh, ckt ses college then bct law college and ramshet thakur college these are the sister in uh, ramshet thakur college khargar these are the sister institutions and when you are taking your employees to visit the sister institution that uh, that will give them some boost that will give them the sense of belonging that will give them the uh, the confidence that we we can also have some healthy uh, facilities uh, the uh, in our own institution as well then social get together this is also one of the most important point where we could say we we are celebrating the uh, birthdays anniversaries and public holidays national holidays these are the this has to be uh, celebrated together so that people uh, whoever is working in this office will feel uh, will not feel aloof or alienated from each other and then advice and counseling as i said it is the duty of the public relation officer to add give some advice uh, and counseling in terms of in 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 the time of crisis in 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 the time of uh, product mishap these are the things where Uh, genuinely uh, an institution needs the suggestion of a public relation department the last one that is a suggestion schemes it's a part of an upward communication as i said progressive policies so this is one of the po uh, point where uh, the upward communication and the progressive policies has been uh, you can say utilized so suggestion schemes the common employee can suggest whatever ideas are there in their mind so that for the greater benefit for the greater uh, cause okay so these are the uh, certain ways certain measures through which a uh, an internal public relation is maintained and, and any organization can choose these kind of things next that is the measures to promote external public relations uh, as i said electronic media and the print media these are the very uh, important elements so through which product publicity promotion or clarification everything can be done just to reach out maximum mass public maximum public uh, you can reach through electronic and print media nowadays people are using social media just that's that's why we have the uh, term called uh, instagram influencer then we have the youtube influencer why because these people are actually promoting your product and services so it is one of the most important uh, measure that any any organization can use through public relation officer that is the electronic media and print media they have to reach to these two things they have to utilize these two things then we have the questionnaires certainly you might have uh, come across with the people those who are uh, carrying some questionnaires with them regarding the products ki ha have you use our product ha have you are, are you using this particular product even youtube is also showing this kind of uh, thing um 
giving uh, asking us uh, sparing couple of minutes to fill up the questionnaires it just for the sake of you will get the direct feedback to, from the people those who are using it so questionnaires are will be the very good uh, element through which you can directly get the information the feedback from the people those who have interest or impact on the uh, organization then the literature we have it's uh, literature what i mean the, the leaflet booklets right news uh, uh, the pamphlets these are the things which promotes your services usually we used to come about, we used to come across with the flat 60% off sale right and people are quite curious about the is it up to 60% or flat 60% so such kind of things pamphlet leaflets will definitely influence people more to and they will it will fetch to the people prospective customers as well to your services and products then we have the open house it's it's uh, the public relation department or any organization will uh, uh, follow the policy called open house where they will allow people to come and visit their institution their organization and they will show how it is functioning what are their uh, actual ethics they are following in the company so it's an open house transparency is maintained through this particular policy open door policy and open house policy next that is the fairs shows and exhibitions and i think we have discussed about the exhibitions and fairs and shows as well uh, how to maintain it so uh, the product and services whatever product do uh, they have whatever services they are uh, giving it has to be uh, showcase it has to be reached out to the people common people through the various fairs shows and exhibitions then films as i said some certain documentary films has to be made which will immortalize the work of the people those who are uh, working very hard on uh, on giving very uh, good service next vehicle publicity nowadays people uh, will definitely come to know about vehicle publicity where uh, you may see you may see the people driving a small bicycle or car uh, the what do we say the um, through the uh, at the back at the back of bus you will see the uh, what do you say the information about government schemes right these are the vehicle publicity where bus buses cars two wheelers have been sent specifically to promote their services and products and last one is that it's public bodies what i mean public bodies again it's a municipal corporation through which any organization can reach out to maximum people suppose in this particular locality if if anyone might have gone through the uh, there are certain parks so maintaining the parks bus stops and water fountains these are the ways through which the company can spend their money uh, to for maintaining it so organization will reach to the government offices municipal corporations and they will request them ki we want to spend our money uh, while for maintaining the parks maintaining the water fountains and many other uh, certain activities so ultimately it will reduce the burden financial burden from the municipal corporations and as well as it will uh, again build up uh, a good image healthy image goodwill in in, in the minds of public about the uh, company so yeah just one second let me go back so these were the elements which we have discussed today after all public relation is just for the sake of maintaining healthy relations with the people internal external doesn't matter but ultimately it creates a goodwill ultimately it creates the uh, what do you say the impact in the minds of the people so that they will uh, use your product they will they will use your service right so i hope you all might have enjoyed the lecture thank you so much for being with me thank you